going to sing for us a little bit later in the show. And a fellow from the United States called DJ Fontana. PJ Fontana. DJ Fontana, not PJ. DJ Fontana. Now, this fellow was one of Elvis Presley's, if not Elvis Presley's, original drummer. And we're going to have a chat to DJ during the show this morning. But we're going to open the show with a favourite of yours, I know. Jane's he found DJ Fontana. Elvis, of course, is no longer with us, but luckily DJ is, and he's in Australia and touring at the moment. It's great to meet him this morning. Good morning well, to you. Thank you, John. It's a pleasure to be here. So nice Will to have you? you on the show. Thank you. What a great boost to your career to have been selected by Elvis Presley all those years ago to drum with him. Yeah, I kind of lucked out there, I guess. Uh, I just happened to be there at the right place at the right time. It's not that you play better than anyone else, it's just I was there, that's all. Uh -huh. DJ, I guess as a young drummer, uh, you would have been playing with different bands at the time. Elvis asks you to play. Could you see star potential in him then? Did you go, this boy's going to go places? Well, you know, yeah, he always looked a little bit different from everyone else. You know, with the hair, the long sideburns, and the pink pants, and the yellow... He, he, he dressed like a Christmas tree most of the time, uh -huh. so you couldn't miss him. But he looked good. I don't, he could wear any colour, and he looked good in it. So. Yeah. Well, he was a very handsome guy. Yeah, he's There's Elvis, and of course, we see you in the background there, and in these shots, we will see shots of you. How many years were you with uh, Elvis? Uh, about DJ? 14, actually, all together. So you, you obviously became pretty good friends in the, in the period uh, that you worked with. Yeah, him. I'd like to think we were friends first. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's always best. That way you can work with a guy a lot easier. You know? Sure. I, I guess I can't meet Elvis's drummer without asking the question, how, how did such a young strong, energetic, successful man, let his life go so haywire? You know, I, I wish I could answer that, John. And the reason why I can't, I left the band in 1968. Uh, and after that, uh, I'd read in the papers like everyone else, he was sick. He just kind of fell apart, you know, physically. Uh, you know, his mother had a bad heart. He had a cousin that died when he was 30 with a bad heart. So I think he was just maybe in the genes, he just... Uh, and tired also. Sure, but he did get, he bulked up a lot towards the yeah, end, Yeah, I, I think most of that was fluids. Mm -hmm. I don't know, he didn't eat, uh, to say he ate a lot of food, he didn't eat a lot. No. But it was just fluids in his body. See, the, uh, the public impression, and whether this was the PR machine uh, working overtime, of course gave us all the impression that he was, a, as he looked, a, a handsome, clean-cut, clean-living kind of guy. Well, he was at the time, that, uh, that I knew him. That you knew him. Yes. And, uh, and then I guess it, uh, it sort of fell apart after his marriage fell apart, really, didn't I it? I think that's what started it. He, he, you could tell he was kind of... I think he still loved the lady, actually. She was a nice person. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they were actually good friends up until the end. Uh, if he got in trouble or had things on his mind, he would just get on his plane and fly to the West Coast, where sure. she was, you know. Sure. They'd talk for a couple hours and he'd fly back home. So, Is that right? Yeah. So okay. they got along real well. Uh huh. Okay. What about uh, what about DJ Fontana? It's one thing to be Elvis's drummer, but you're obviously a drummer in your own right and here touring Australia. What sort of show do we see? Oh, um, I work with Eddie Youngblood, and Eddie does, of course, the, the '70s Elvis with his jumpsuit. And then, uh, and then we uh, do the uh, in the round '68 special, just three or four guys, and uh, I'll answer some questions if I can, you know, from the audience. And sure. We do the all the early stuff, the Hound Dogs and. Jailhouse rocks and don't be cruel. Yeah, well, Eddie, uh, Eddie, of course, has distinguished himself in Australia as, a, as doing a fabulous Elvis show. Yes, he, show. He's, he's very good. He's uh, really how does it feel for you, having worked with the original guy? Have you worked with other Elvis impersonators? Yeah, I've done a lot of them in the States and over in Europe, but, uh, you know, it, it's like anything else. If the guy is sincere and he doesn't, when he gets off the stage, he's not Elvis. Uh-huh. You know, and a lot of those guys I've worked with in the States are Elvis. They uh -huh. go to mumbling and uh, that really gets on my nerves pretty quick. I can imagine. <laughs> Tell me, I guess it's a great thrill for an Elvis impersonator to have one of the original members of Elvis's band work with him because it's, it's, a, it's also a compliment to the, to the impersonator, isn't it? Yeah, well, Eddie's been having a good time, I think, and he, he really wants to do it maybe next year or year after. Maybe bring the guitar player, Scotty Moore, over and maybe bring this, the background vocals over, the Jordan Ayers, and just have a big band type thing, you know. Would you find yourself saying to these guys, look, the real Elvis would have done it this way? No, no. No? And the reason why, because not only Eddie, but all the guys I've worked, they've studied every tape of Elvis. Uh -huh. They've watched every movie. So they probably know his movements better than I know his movements. Mm -hmm. they are, they're really sincere about what they're doing. OK, you talk about some of the extravagances, like he'd fly to the West Coast to, to have a chat to Priscilla for a couple of mm -hmm. hours and, and come back. Did you ever get up to any of the high shenanigans with him that sticks in your mind? No, no, we left a little bit early. Uh -huh. uh, no, uh, in fact, at, at that time, we only had one car. See, so it was myself, 
the guitar, bass, Elvis, and he had sometimes Red West with him, which was a bodyguard, and sometimes a couple of little cousins, all in one car, plus the instruments. Uh, so there was no room for any uh, shenanigans. No, so, so you were there during those early formative years. <laughs> yeah, those are the hard days. We'd go in St. Louis today and Las Vegas the next day. We were doing seven days a week at different cities every night, so uh, we were always going somewhere. DJ, were you in the, the memorable and famous uh, Ed Sullivan performance in which he was? Uh, yeah, he the, ordered the floor manager to, to shoot him from the yeah, waist up? Yeah, yeah they, I think that was pr part of the hype, yeah. it seemed, uh, you know, uh, television hype. Uh, Mr. Sullivan and him actually got along real well. They must have been very yeah. exciting days. Yeah. Oh, it was. It was, absolutely. So tell me, what do you think when you see all these ridiculous stories that Elvis is alive? Elvis was seen at a hamburger shop in Hawaii. Elvis is working as a checkout clerk at Woolworths. I think it's a little foolish, but the real fans in their own minds would like to see him on the street, as I would. Sure. But I was at the funeral, so I know Elvis passed away. And uh, it gets old answering that same question, is he alive? Uh, but, you know, I want to be polite and I want to tell them the straight of it if I can. So, and I, and I tell them the straight of it, but uh, th in their minds, they would like to see him walk in the studio. Yes, of course. Know? Sure. Well, we all would. But yeah. fortunately, his music lives on and people like yourself are carrying it on. And it's just as popular now as it ever was. Yeah, I think it's the music. Uh, me and the guitar player was talking about that a couple weeks ago. And it wasn't Elvis himself. I think it was just the tunes he selected and the way he'd yeah. done them, you know, so. Yeah. It's great to meet you. Thank you. Good luck on your tour. We'll tell people where, where they can.